In May, the UK will be holding its first general election since 2010, when I looked like this. And we only have them every five years or so, so it's quite a big deal. And Bite the Ballot will be holding the five main party leaders to account over on the Bite News channel. Bite the Ballot have asked me to introduce one of the topics that will be discussed, the European Union. Firstly, a tiny bit of differentiation. Europe is a geographical term that encompasses 56 countries from Iceland in the west to Russia in the east. Whereas the EU is a political construct whereby 28 European countries have pulled their sovereignty into central institutions, like the Parliament in Brussels and Strasbourg. It's a complicated institution, so let's stick to the fun stuff. On the one hand, this means that there's freedom of goods, services, capital and people, so we can move and trade freely across the EU. However, some people think that the EU's gone beyond those founding principles, and is now more about people we've never voted for or heard of making laws that affect our lives. A key part of the EU is freedom of movement. A recent UCL study showed that migrant work from the EU has had a net contribution to the UK economy. Would leave put that at risk. Although, since 1975, the UK's put more money into the EU than it's got out. Is this a fair deal for Britain? The last time we got to vote on our membership was 1975, but a lot's changed since then. Two treaties, Maastricht in 1992 and Lisbon in 2007, have created a supranational organisation from what was a common market. So, is renegotiation required or are things broadly fine as they are? Should we leave altogether? Is our influence enhanced or diminished within the Union? If you have any questions you'd like to ask Bennett, Clegg, Farage, Miliband, Cameron, leave them in the comments below. And be sure to check out Leaders Live over on the Byte News channel, where we'll put these politicians to the test, live.